Hello, this is a specimen of a kidney with a very large upper pole mass. Looking at the size of this kidney, it is actually relatively small. So this is the kidney of a child. Let's turn this around. And we can see the capsular surface of the kidney here, which appears to be continuous with the location of the mass. So what we have is a very large upper pole tumor in the kidney of a child. The differential diagnosis here would be a tumor of the kidney itself, and that would be nephroblastoma or Wilms tumor in a child. And the other differential would be a tumor of the adrenal gland. And in a child, this would be a neuroblastoma. This tumor appears to be within the confines of the renal capsule, and also histologic examination proves it to be a nephroblastoma or a Wilms tumor. Looking at this more closely, we can actually see the tumor is fleshy and tan, and it's got these geographic pale areas of necrosis. In fact, uh, in some of the areas, the tumor is very friable and it's almost cavitating. All these pale areas are necrotic. So we have darker areas of hemorrhage as well. And it is abutting on the renal pelvis. So this is the region of the renal pelvis with the calyces. And we can see the tumor is really compressing on the renal pelvis. Nephroblastomas usually occur in young children, usually from age of 0 to 4. They're often very large and well circumscribed, and there may be areas of hemorrhage and necrosis, as we see here. They may also be associated with childhood syndromes such as WAGR syndrome or beckwith widerman syndrome. And microscopically, they look quite interesting because uh, they can have a triphasic appearance. These are actually immature tumors that try to recapitulate the developing nephron. So here is an example at low power. We can see a very blue appearance, and this is because uh, it is composed of cells with very high nucleocytoplasmic ratios. This is a classical example of a small round blue cell tumor, and these are often the immature tumors seen in children. There are also some pinker areas which may point to other tissue types. Looking at this at higher magnification, this happens to be a triphasic tumor. So the first component is the blastebal component, which is literally the small round blue cells. We can see it here. There is no real architecture. It's just sheets of small round blue cells. And also we can see it here. The second component is the epithelial component, which may form glands or tubules. And we can see that here, here, and also in these areas. And this also has a stromal component, which is seen here where the cells are a lot more elongated or spindly. So this is an example of a triphasic nephroblastoma. The treatment is usually a combination of surgery and chemotherapy with or without radiotherapy. And actually, the cure rate is fairly high. It is currently close to 90%. So in summary, this is a large, variegated appearing renal tumor in a child with extensive areas of necrosis and some hemorrhage. And this is a nephroblastoma.